Hey, what is up everyone? So two days ago, I actually dropped my iPhone 5 video if it's still worth it or not. And I accidentally said that it came out in 2011 when it actually came out in 2012. So you can still go in the comments and call me an idiot and like re-correct me if you want to. But I do just want to publicly apologize for that error. Uh, it's actually five years old and not seven or six or whatever I said. But speaking about the iPhone 5, I have it right in my hands right now and we're playing Real Racing 3. And you can see that it's not that bad. I downloaded a couple games as well and I'll get to more detail about some errors I had but this game specifically you can see that it's not that slow there are a few frame drops here and there but overall it's not that bad I would give it like a 7 out of 10 or something like that but if you're planning on picking up an iPhone 5 you're definitely not gonna get it for the speeds or anything now I went to download some other games as well including Nova 3 and a commando game of some sort they were both pretty graphic intensive and with Nova for some reason it downloaded all the way through but I wasn't able to like go into the game itself it would only go up to like that Gameloft logo and then it would flash again and they would exit the app. I really have no idea why that happened. I was running iOS 10.3. I don't know if it was a bug within the sys iOS system itself or if it's actually the iPhone 5 and because it's so old and whatnot. And then I went to download a Commando game and it wouldn't even download all the way through, which was the weirdest thing ever. Like it would like download halfway and then it would just stop. It would say unable to download. Would you like to retry or done? I clicked retry and it just never fully went through. And then I went to play Slitherio, which which is like the best game I've ever played. If you guys don't know, I play this game like crazy. I ball on everyone that I ever play against. If you're ever on it, try to see the scoreboard. You'll probably see the top 10 players, probably simple alpaca sometimes. So keep your eye out on that. But playing against the AI, it was perfectly fine. It wasn't even that slow. But when I went to play on Wi-Fi, it wouldn't even connect to the server. So it would just keep spinning over and over again, but it would never really fully load. So I don't know if it was the iPhone 5's problem or if it was the server problem with Slitherio. But I don't know, that's kind of weird. This stuff is really never happened to me. And then I went to play Raymond's Adventure, which is kind of like not that graphically intensive at all. It's like Temple Run, Fruit Ninja, all those games is like in that league. And it played pretty well. <clears throat> My voice. I really didn't have any issues or problems with it. There were problems or kind of lag in the loading time itself. Like when I clicked play, it would just say connecting to server over and over again. But after a little bit, it actually went to the game and whatnot. So it really wasn't that bad. Playing it in itself was actually pretty decent. Uh, no draft frames, no nothing like that. So what's the verdict? Can it still game? Yeah, it can but like if you can get a game up and running on it that's surprising in and of itself but playing isn't that bad Ex expect drop frames or whatnot but i would overall rate gaming like maybe like a six or seven out of ten which is passing in college but anyway guys that's really about it if you haven't seen my nexus 5 video i dropped yesterday go watch that i talk about this website that i just made let's find that.com it's basically just like a compilation of stuff that i find on amazon and i post on my website basically if you guys want to find something online and you know where it's at you can just shoot me a comment on the submit a find page and you can do all that. I talk a lot about it in my Nexus 5 video, so go watch that. Add me on all the social networks as well, but mostly go to the website, letsfindthat.com. I want to see you there. I want to see the amount of visitors I get. I got stats on the website, so like I said, add me on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter. Watch my last video. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I love all of you guys, and hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.